All right, guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome in, Kurt Magoo Sports. Uh, we are reviewing our first Sooner commit of the 2022 class. Appreciate all the Oklahoma fans checking out the channel and all the college football fans checking it out. So today we're going to look at Nick Evers, um, guy from Flower Mound, Texas. He's 6'3". Was just reading a profile on Nick Evers, and uh, this kid, uh, Evers, or is it Evers? I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but he is a kid that um, grew a lot in his sophomore year. Uh, Brent Venables raves about his intangible value. We got an eight-minute senior year clip here at Flower Mound High School, which is a really nice suburb of Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas. <clears throat> so what do you see from Nick Evers um, what he's first starting off? You see a guy that's a dual-threat quarterback. You see a Texas quarterback, and of course, Jeff Levy knows Texas really well. That's really good feel for the pocket you want to see feel for the game you want to see a guy that can feel the rush a little bit Nick has said in interviews that he loves throwing the football again he adds high intangibles and that's something that's important always to get in a quarterback and especially and specifically with your first recruiting class what Brent Venables is trying to do Oklahoma you know they had Kyler Murray uh, they had ba Baker was the longest term quarterback. Everybody else was a one year quarterback. Um, look at that throwing to his left. That that's kind of what I want to see. You know, ability throwing to his left. Now his throwing motion is a little low to high. It's it's a natural throwing motion. It's kind of like Jalen Hurts where it's a low to high motion. Um, but again, it's quick. All right, Desmond Ritter has the exact same throwing motion. So does like Trey Lance, you know, a little bit low to high. And that's what you're going to get with a rangy 6'3 kid with maybe longer arms. He really reminds me of Ritter and, he, and he's already polished even as a high school quarterback. So he has plenty talent for the college game. I like the velocity on this on this little in route that's going a little 20 yards deep down the middle of the field. So let's see this. I mean, this is going back again. Good protection, but really good timing and anticipation with that ball out there. These are the highlights, of course. But look at him step up in the pocket, not afraid, throw, throw an absolute dart in the middle of the field. That was an absolutely tremendous play. Little hitch and go, and that that's a perfect ball. I mean, that's a whole shot against cover two there in the corner. That's one of the toughest balls to throw is a rail route going down the corner against cover two where you got to fit it in the corner and the safety. You got to fit it in between those guys. Uh, that is a tremendous, tremendous throw. So if you look at this guy, I mean, he probably needs to add a little bit of weight. You see the throwing motion can like concern some people, I guess, because it's maybe not as high as some people would like. It's a little bit low to high. Um, but again, the ball gets there with a lot of velocity, and he has the size, you know, and he does play tall at 6'3". He stands upright. He plays tall, all right? Now, a lot of these times he's dealing with clean pockets, so he's not going to deal with like the most adversity. Um, I would say the arm strength is, if 10 is elite, I'd say his arm strength's like like an 8 at .5 to a 9 and could even be up towards like a 9. I'd say that he has a very good arm strength. In terms of like the elitist of the elite, I would say that, again, he has very, very good arm strength. Um so I'm excited. I mean, the elite of the elites, like 10 out of 10 arm strength, like Drew Eiler probably has that in this class, you know, maybe even a Caleb Williams, um, but he can throw with touch and he is plenty good to be an outstanding college quarterback and potentially maybe even a draftable quarterback. He really reminds me of Ritter and he's even more ahead of where Desmond Ritter was, you know, because they're both like a little bit skinny. Their, their throwing motions both are like low to high, but they're just really improvisational, like on the ground. They're tremendous leaders, but they're also so athletic and fast. And here in the Levy offense, I mean, he throws with such touch. I would say that the touch and his athletic ability um, and the quick release is really the best parts about his game 
is he, he, he again, knows how to throw. There was more of a fastball, so I like that. He shows different speeds when he's throwing the football, which I do like to see. I think this guy, we're talking about this guy, how he's going to play in college. I think this guy, honestly, so far is, is, is a top five quarterback that I've evaluated in this class, and it's specifically that, he, that he's going to a great, great spot with a coordinator. That's a good ball right there from Nick Evers. He is totally a top five level talent. And he's a late bloomer as well, which is even more exciting. He might even grow when he gets up to college. There, there you see, that's a really good playing conflict. So these are all the highlights, of course, guys. But he's a productive quarterback. Let's see that throw in the tight red area. Finish just the run. Great block, of course. You can't do the block in the back, so you kind of have to wedge that guy off. Here, tight red. Bam, quick release. Love it. Springy, twitchy throwing motion. So who cares if the motion's low to high if the ball gets out really quick? You see him really good footwork there. He had to reset quick. There's a good throw. Again, you're throwing to a tight end, so... Like, in the wind, you know, when he gets to Manhattan and stuff, you know, again, he's going to get a little bit stronger, so the arm strength's like an 8 out of 10, but, again, he has good touch on the football, you know. There's a there's a yak play, so, you know, it's add to the highlights, of course. I uh, love the mobility. I think he's going to learn, you know, Caleb stays there. You know, Nick will be able to ball out. He's similar to Jalen, you know, similar to Hertz. I mean, and Hertz is, you know, Hertz is an NFL quarterback. And this guy, I mean, with his mobility and, and his arm, he does have arm talent and he does have accuracy. And he has intangibles and a quick release. I mean, he, he checks so many boxes to, to potentially be a pro quarterback. Uh, and, and that's what Oklahoma should expect when they're recruiting quarterback, obviously. But um, this is a great addition to the class. While wow, throwing under conflict there, that was a tremendous, tremendous ball. You know, I go between his arm strength being an eight to an eight and a half and at a 10, and that throw there under conflict, you just see it, he really has feel for the game. So there's so much to like with this kid, you know. Really excited for this kid to get to Oklahoma, obviously. And I'm going to be reviewing the entire class. Uh, there you see him. Great, great run. Um, you love the mobility. You love the speed. Throwing on the run. So important. So important. Three-man rush. So, again, he's going to have to fit it into a tight space. Uh, actually not. Just not good defense on, on that particular play. Whew. <laughs> Toughness, flexing on the guy. It's what you want to see on the tape. Good throw. Again, rolling right, he's dynamite good. Run read option that you're going to get with Jeff Lebby. You even saw Matt Corral do this. You, of course, saw. Who are the UCF guys that do this? I mean, uh, oh, RPO game. That's so good for the Lebby offense. That's going to be bread and butter. Butter in the biscuit is is the uh, is is the term for a little you know RPO game. So that's just going to be dynamite. You know, like Matt Corral, you see him run. Dylan Gabriel was small at UCF. I mean, who are the? I mean, Mackenzie Milton. I don't know if Milton was there with with Jeff. I mean, but that you, with the speed of Oklahoma, like that throw is going to be there all day. Oh, the mesh point. You love it. You love it. Follows the big guys. You have like Creed Humphrey blocking for you, Orlando Brown, like some of these linemen at Oklahoma. Throw on the run. You could fight, you know, you really the tight ends will be utilized with this quarterback. Oh, I like how I like how he stands in the pocket there too. Like not skittish, you know. You don't want to see skittish, right? So everybody's around him here. Not skittish. It's like short little movements. That's where if you're going to be a prof, if you're going to then go to the to the NFL or even be good in college, when you have conflict, you want to see little movements, and that's what I want to see: little movements in the pocket. 
So overall, I mean, looking at quarterback tape is always always fun to watch, and, and this one definitely is an entertaining tape. And the anticipation, the release is 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 quick. Ball out. There you go. There you go. It's not like the, you know it's a little loopy, right? It's not like the full range of motion's ridiculous with this guy throwing the football. This is a highly touted quarterback who was gonna go to Florida with Dan Mullen, wanted to be schooled. So you see how he's a little like Alex Smith with so much mobility, you know, in a quick release, right? Does play like Alex Smith. So, Nick Evers, quarterback, Flower Mount, Texas. Again, great kid, comes from a great family. You, you, Brent Venables talked about that so much in the uh, in the presser. And I'm um, really excited for Nick to get down to Norman, or get up to Norman, I should say, from Texas. And uh, him and Jeff Levy should connect. Again, I love this fit with the RPO game, the quick release, the mobility factors. And um, again, going to be reviewing hopefully the entire Oklahoma class. And we're going to start out with a quarterback flip from Florida out to Oklahoma again a guy who was an elite 11 finalist four-star quarterback and, and I believe in 24-7 he's at least in the top 12 of quarterbacks so this is a big time get and you could see why Nick Evers from Flower Mount.